Hi guys, it's Granny Tana speaking. Welcome to the FS22, the valley, the old farm. This is part 24. And in this part we will fertilize our cow barn field and maybe we will buy some sheep and maybe we will mow the other part of the cow barn field yeah and we have to sell and buy the cows as well so as you can see we still have quite a lot to do this month but not all the tasks will take very long So somehow we are in the end stage of this day. So let's check on this field and its shape. This is that one where we have the grass. No. Okay, maybe I start I just start here and then I go here and then back and yeah and then I have to check again. I think this is too difficult for the help. And maybe I have the full width like so. And let's check whether I can modify something. No. So I just spread. Yeah, so first going in the top area. Oh, and I can see where I have been. This is good. At least a little bit. And this grass looks really different to the grass we had there before. So... Maybe I have to fill up a hole in the middle later on but anyhow this is a fast drop so and this is a very useful fertilizer spreader because it was really cheap so now I have to check. Yeah, there is a small hole. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> and tomorrow we will need this for just make this small field also because this is such a small field I can just drive back and forth and that's it and this is done and tomorrow we have the big odd shaped field and uh, the 
field, the grass field that I um, harvested today. So, yet I cannot see my efforts as well as with the grass field. So, let's check. Oh, there is a hole. Oh, and I have to do this again. And this is only um, fertilized ones maybe because I have mowed it before um, but that won't help because tomorrow it's harvest ready and it's the last day to harvest it and this here maybe I just go over it I hope I I find the area. <laughs> Therefore, sometimes I prefer to let a helper do the fertilizing um, because he works more precise than me. Even if it's a fast job, so I like to do the fertilizer myself because of its fastness. So yeah, and rich field. Yeah, this have to be done. Maybe I could just do it tomorrow and oh this also I have to do it twice so maybe somewhere in springtime or so there is not such a hurry and for this yeah I do it tomorrow but there is no hurry too okay Now, I think now it's time to buy some sheep. And this is already harvest ready, wonderful. So, I think I buy several of those big ones. Maybe 60. Okay. And then maybe t 10 lamp. They are more or less just for fun. And then the ram come later. Oh, small of those black faced sheep. And then where is the goat? Yeah. Oh, it's getting full in here. Only five goat and then maybe five young goat and one male goat. And one ram. Okay. So, and then I hope that the grass is enough for them. If not, I have to feed them. Maybe I should close the door that they 
don't run away. I think they won't because it's so nice here in their new barn. And they have such a fresh meadow to grass. Yeah, are you happy? Tell me. Do you like it here? I take this as a yes. And you? How are you? Happy? Is the grass delicious? Yes, yes, it says yes. And here we have the goat. This is, oh, this is the male goat, the Ziegenbock. And this is a female goat. And I'm aware that those goats are only here for decoration. So I won't get milk or, or wool from the goats. But I like to have them anyhow. And the big sheep, they give milk. They cute. I love them so much. Those new sheep from FS22, they they are much nicer still. I already loved the sheep from FS19. But those, they are so much better. And the cows too. It's sad that I, they didn't make young animals. But those adult ones, they are a big improvement. So. Yeah. Dear ones, bring me, produce good wool for my profit. Okay. Oh, this cutie. So small. And those lambs, they don't bring anything yet, but they will grow up. And now I have to wait till 6 p.m. And then I hope there will be food. So maybe I make it a little bit faster. And now I take my mower. Oh, first I check on the, on the cows. No, not here. I can see it when I go inside. Oh, and maybe they need more food. Mm, they have enough food. And they still take one more hour to be 100% healthy. Yeah, and they already produced another thousand liters of milk. Even if I mainly have meat cows. But with the enhanced animal system, uh, I think the mower isn't down there, but up here. With the enhanced animal system, the meat cows give milk also. Yeah, and I just saw I have sunflowers. Maybe I should distribute them to the production before I go to the cow barn. Oh, I can go from there. I don't need to go down through the other side. We have quite some entries. So, ok, 
Okay. And this will maybe the strangest mowing that you will ever see and that I will ever do. So we need some light. You will see what I mean in a minute or in a few seconds. So I activate it and then I go. So as you can see, I cut the grass, but I don't get any swath. And this is because this is decorative grass. But tomorrow this will regrow and then it will be meadow grass. Oh, I think it will take some time. Oh, with a bigger mower it would be faster. You know what? I do something very silly. Or maybe it's intelligent. <laughs> I don't know. I rent this because I don't need a swath now. Therefore, I can take this one. This is not so expensive. And I set it from the shop to the farm. So I make the direct delivery like so okay and it should be somewhere at the farm and then I can do it much faster Here it is. Isn't this a wonderful delivery service? I like this. And I think on integrating this into my marigold farm, if you like this too. So tell me whether you like this. The delivery service directly to the farm. So where have I stopped? So unfold. Cows beware! Here comes the terrible mower.
and later when I'm rich, so much richer than now, I think I'll buy the other um, big mower uh, that is able to make a swath because then I don't need to use the um, no, how oh, it's called the wind and it's even a little bit wider but it's expensive it costs uh, 75,000 bucks Okay, I think I will go on mowing without recording, but we um, stay in this episode, so we will see each other again when I'm done with this mowing, and then we will go back to the sheep and have a look whether it worked with the grass. And hope so. And then we sell and buy cows. And then I will end this episode. So I will just go on mowing a little bit further. So now we are nearly done. This is just the last little piece. Maybe turning around one more time. And then I hope it will regrow. So for tomorrow it will only be very very small. And then it's winter. But yeah, in March it will be nice and useful, I hope. And I just thought about maybe I keep this um, big mower for tomorrow. Because then it's cheaper to, if I just keep it, I don't have to pay so much money. And I want to harvest two grass fields tomorrow. And this is much faster. And yeah, I have the wind rower, so then I can wind row it. Okay, and I think I just put it somewhere. I'll just make it slowly. And then we can see the moment when the the sheep trough is getting full. I think this is too low for this mode. Oh no, it's just working. Okay, okay. So now we go over there. Maybe this is a better angle to see. So now we concentrate on the on the uh, you know here. This is done now. So we have got the food from the grass field. It's not much, 
but this is always like that the first time. Yeah, it didn't took the whole um, growing stage. This is awesome. So tomorrow we will check how much it is. But for the moment, this is really good. They have food now, so they can start producing. And now I check on the cows. They have 100% health, health now, and they still have more than 30,000 liters of food. This is enough for today. And here, I sell all the Angus cows, the adult ones. So this brings me 80,000 bucks. Okay, I sell it. And they were 30. Now I buy a new one. And I have to pay 44,000 to buy new ones in the same age. But with health zero. So maybe I increase um, to 35. Yeah, then I have a little bit less um, profit, but I have more cows. So, and the other uh, cows and calves, they just stay. Wonderful. So I think that's it. That's all what was needed. I check on the product because this was a little bit special here. Okay, now everything is empty except the hay silage. Oh, we still have... Oh, okay, we still produce total mixed ration and we produce hail silage as long as we have hay. So, how much total mixed ration do we have? 86,000. Mm. I think I will just stop everything. Uh, the corn seeds, yes, I let it accumulate and tomorrow we will get more grass and then I start all over again with the production because yeah for tomorrow this is enough and if I need to give some hay to the sheep I won't have to want to have some hay left over okay so let's visit the sheep. Yeah, they seem quite happy. Yeah, and in the next part we will see each other in November. Yeah, and then I will be very curious whether the trick with the mowing of the decorative grass works. I tried it in different places, but yeah, whether it works here as well, we will see. I hope so. And whether everybody is happy and we can earn more money. Okay, I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you for watching and all the best. Till next time. Tschüss.